Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Colette's Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a bread pudding. So let's head on over to the kitchen and see how it's done. Please remember to share, like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thank you. All right, so we have our bread here. Preferably, you always say stale bread, but I have done it hard with a fresh loaf of bread because I wanted to make the bread pudding. I could better wait for the bread get stale. So they normally say use stale bread. Well, I've had these for a while storing up to do this video in particular. So we have our granulated sugar. We have some cinnamon powder nutmeg. We're going to be using four eggs, vanilla, milk. I have a container here with some raisins and walnut. I'd like to add that. This is very much optional. If you don't like raisins or nuts, you don't have to add that to your bread pudding. And I have a stick of melted butter right here. So let's get everything together. So I'm going to be cutting my bread into cubes. Cutting them on a on a tablecloth. If you have your cutting board for your braids, you go ahead and do so. I say put them in cubes. I don't start putting them body in cubes. And you're just going to follow through with this process until everything is all cooked. Alright, so we have gone ahead with our four eggs. We have cracked them. We're placing them in this container here. And then now we are going to add four cups of milk. Okay, ensure that you have your measuring cup. Now this is going to make a good amount of uh, mixture for our bread food. Remember, I told you already we had our melted butter. Once to come melted butter, we're adding that to our mixture also. And then now we're going to go ahead and add a quarter, a quarter cup, and the veggies are put a bit more, a quarter cup of sugar, granulated sugar. For the mixture. Right. And then now we're going to be using a teaspoon. One teaspoon of nutmeg. One teaspoon of nutmeg. Half teaspoon each, half teaspoon of cinnamon powder, half teaspoon of nutmeg. Alright. And we're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla. Now this is my half teaspoon, so I'm going to use two of these. Then we're going to whisk this mixture together. We're going to whisk this together. And yes. yes, LJ. Yes, and mix it, mix it, mix it. Okay. So we're going to ensure that we beat the eggs 
all of this mixture together. It smells really good. So we are going to add our wet ingredients to the bread. So we keep whisking until everything is nice and blended. So here we have our bread. This is in a large container. So we're just going to pour our mixture over it. The aim is for it to be completely saturated. So we want everything. Yes, Lawrence. Yes, you're right, too, baby. I see that. All right, so we want everything to be soaked. So we're going. I'm going to leave it here. For about next 20 minutes. Mommy, yes, Okay, you want to come here? Yeah. Come around. Mommy. Show them what you're writing. Bubble, she's having it. Okay, all right. So we're going to leave this here for about half an hour, 20 minutes there about. By that time, all of this liquid that you see now, you shall see no more. So I have my container here. I'm going to get the mixture in. I'm going to do it somewhat of like a layer. Because remember, I am yet to add my little goodies that I showed you. <laughs> the raisin and the nuts. Right. So I didn't want to add it to the mixture. I didn't want them to fall to the bottom. So I'm just including them in the middle. And I'm going to have some at the top also. So I'm just continuing with the process. Putting all this goodness in. Sometimes you have some persons who set the bread apart. For me, I just want to set it back and taste good. You understand me? that I have left just a little bit because if you notice you can see that it's already there so I'm just going to put the remaining nuts and raisins on top let me try and just As I said, this is optional. If you're not a raisin person, you're not a nuts person, you don't have to put them in. Your bread put in your style, your way. But my husband likes raisins and he likes nuts. So we're going to put it in the oven for the next 40 to 45 minutes, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 176 degrees Celsius. So we're going to place it in there and then we'll check on it again. Here we have our bread pudding. If you notice, it has risen quite some way. So we're going to get it out now. All right, so here we have our bread pudding. It has risen quite so much, or a lot, I should say. So once it cools, it will go down. So how do you check for your bread pudding is to stick the middle with a knife. It's not going to come out clean. But what will happen is that by the time it cools, everything will set and then you're able to cut. Alright, so our bread pudding has cooled. Yes, it's nice and nice. I just want to get a little piece to show you guys. Alright, so here we have our bread pudding. All done nice moist 
and ready to eat. It is amazing. So please remember to share, like, subscribe, and tell a friend.